Pete. What? Stand him! Nick, run! Did you see them close? I've got eyes, Griffon. Stay with me! Come on, Nick. We can still make it. No, Kathy. The boat is damaged. We can't leave this wall. You'll never get home. Don't move! What is that? It's a transdimensional boat. We came to your world in it. The regents will certainly be interested in meeting you. Neva, ride to the nearest village, get some men, and bring this boat to the labor camp. Yes, Spellbinder. The camp is that way. We haven't done anything wrong. You can't keep us here. Silence! And don't try to escape again. Come on, get moving. That's where the boat thing was. Kathy was in it, and this guy wearing a weird helmet jumped in, and it disappeared. Look. It left a mark on the ground. That could be anything. What about a magazine? You know how possessive she is about these things? She wouldn't just leave it lying around in the bush. Kathy! You can come out now. It's not a trick, Dad. All this energy started flushing around the boat. So I jumped back, and I hit my head on that tree. Look. Oh, Carly has got a nasty lump. Maybe we should take him to a doctor. I'm all right. It's Kathy you have to worry about. Come on. Come on. Who are these two? That's what we must find out. <laughs> Please, I just want to go back to my own world. The region are sending a ship to collect them. They've already tried to escape once. No one's ever got away from here. Barrow, keep an eye on them. Come on. Your hurt spellbinder. Come into my tent. I think this is our chance. Stay here. This world is a contradiction. It seems primitive, yet it has powerful technology. How did the spellbinder make that explosion? I don't care. I just want to be back in a world where the worst thing that can happen is mass homework. Nick, what if someone finds a boat and does what I did? We'll be stuck here. The energy source for the transdimensional generator. The boat can't go anywhere without it. You idiot! I'm sorry, Barrow. Let me clean it up. Let's make a break for it. You'll never get past the guards on your own. You need my help. Why should we trust a prisoner? Because you have no choice. And because I believe you are from another world. You do? 
It has happened before. A boy came to this world. He knew things no one else knew. The regents wanted his knowledge, so they captured him and took him to the castle. He has never been seen again. Why would you want to help us? My name is Ashka. I was a spellbinder once. I tried to help the boy, but the regents became very angry and made me a slave. They can be very cruel. If I help you to escape this world, I want you to take me and my friend with you. Ashka, get back to work. You too. Will you take us? Be ready. It won't be long. I hope we're doing the right thing. Head injuries can make you imagine things, George. I remember when I got knocked out in the 81 semi-final. I woke up and I thought that my coach was the queen. I even kissed his hand. I'm not imagining this. It's okay, Josh. It's all right. Cassie, we're taking Josh to a doctor. We thought you might like to come to town and see a movie. She's probably back at the camp. She's not! Josh! Look! That alien, or whatever he was, he dropped this. He was collecting ants in it. Ah, an alien ant collector. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. You've got to believe me. Come on. Come on, let's get you looked at. She's not here, Dad. She's disappeared. She's probably not even on this planet anymore. Come on, Josh. I'll stay here until Kathy gets back. Get some petrol. How did you come to this world? It was an accident. I found next boat. You came in a boat? A transdimensional boat. It... What's that? The trackers. All prisoners wear them. The spellbinders can follow the signal. The spellbinders are coming. Look there. Follow both of us. Go that way. Keep moving until you hear my signal. What are you doing? Hold your wrist steady. Thank you. Where is your boat? We left it by the lake, but the spellbinder ordered it brought to the camp. They'll be taking the road from Orchid. This way. The 
Lilith isn't a spellbinder. She's a prisoner. I may no longer be a spellbinder, but I can still use a power suit. Now leave the boat and go. You will regret this. When the spellbinders catch you, they'll never catch me where I'm going. Now be on your way, apprentice. Now, take me to your world. I must take Kathy back home first. I have to reset the controls. You were supposed to stay away until I signaled. I heard the power boat. I thought it was your signal. Get us out of here. I haven't finished resetting the controls for Kathy's world. Take us anywhere. This lever will take us to my world. Use it. This is the Scalestri where my fellow scientists live and work. Come and see. I really need to go home, Mac. Like now? Kathy, I, I disobeyed the Dragon Lord to build this boat. I'm in a great deal of trouble. Please come and meet my master and prove to him that the boat works. Then I will take you home, I promise. Look at Master Lick's face when he sees you two. Fascinating, isn't it? Many great discoveries have been made in this building. It is said that the first Dragon Lord was a student here before he created the oracles. What's an oracle? This is an oracle. It is the source of all our wisdom and knowledge. It organizes our lives. Without it, it would be chaos. Wait here, I'll fetch Master Lick. What are you doing? You heard Mech. This oracle is a source of all their knowledge. And knowledge is power. How dare you disobey me? I'm sorry, Master Ling, but I had to test my boat. It works. I I've got proof. I brought two... Get your boat! Princess Aya is on her way to correct the music jewelers for the Dragon Lord. They're not ready! What am I going to tell her? Ashker, I don't think you should. This procedure has not been authorized. Who are you? I am the spellbinder Ashka. I have no record of that name. Show me your bracelet. There is an intruder in the scholastery. There is I told you, let's get out of here! We didn't mean any harm. Do you know where Mech is? Where are you from? How did you get in here? I, I brought them, Master Ling. They come from parallel worlds. You know, the Dragon Lord has forbidden strangers to enter our land. See that? Oh, hang on. Stay back. Ask the no. What is happening here? Strangers, Master Ling? Enemies, Princess Aya. They tried to damage the Oracle. Oh, we didn't. Silence! Kathy is telling the truth, Princess. Be she... quiet, Mac. But you are wrong, Master. How dare you argue with me? Scholar Mac, please explain who these people are. 
Princess, their names are Kathy and Ashka. Spellbinder Ashka. They come from other worlds. I brought them here in my transdimensional boat. That's enough! The princess isn't interested in your wild fantasies. What is a transdimensional boat? So I built a device which could generate a variable frequency energy field. And I installed it in this boat. Ah, that moves it to one of your... Uh, parallel worlds. <laughs> exactly. And there are an infinite number of them. Who knows what we could discover? Master Ling? Your scholars are a credit to you. Welcome to the land of the Dragon Lord. I hope your stay here will be a pleasant one. Thank you, Princess, but I really think I should be getting home. Of course. But first you must tell us about where you come from. Master Ling, have tea brought. You must come to the palace. You too, Scholar Mech. But I have to get home. My parents will be frantic. The Dragon Lord has summoned you. You must obey. Hey, mate. The doctor thought I might have concussion. He said people often see things after a hit in the head, didn't he? But I saw Kathy in the boat before I hit my head. Josh, you're confused. You don't know what you saw. Josh says he had an argument with Kathy before she ran off. Oh, well, that explains it. You snapped at her too. She probably just wants to spend a bit of time on her own. She's been gone for hours. Or what if she's been bitten by a snake or, or, or fell down a hole or... Or been abducted by an alien. Josh! Probably just got herself lost. Come on, let's go look for her. I'll leave a note in case she comes back. Come on, Natalie. My ancestors came to this land over 400 years ago. We spellbinders have ruled my land much longer than that. Oh, really? Tell me, Kathy, are there people like us living in your world? I hate it. But most of them live in a place called China. Australia was first inhabited by Aborigines, and then the English came. I've heard of the English. They're a primitive tribe who live in the Northern Hemisphere. They paint themselves blue, and then they run around half naked waving sticks. <laughs> That's their football supporters. Does your world have a Dragon Lord? Not where I come from. Who is this Dragon Lord? He's my brother. We're not angry with you, sweetheart. We just want to know you're all right. She can't have come this far. Look, we'll go to these hills, and then we'll sweep back around the lake. Oh, we should be going back to the place where she vanished. Josh, she hasn't vanished. Dragon Lord. It has been his home for 300 years. You mean he's immortal? What is that above the palace? The sun lens. It directs light into the oracle in the palace. So there is more than one oracle? No more questions, please. The Dragon Lord must not be kept waiting.
Dragon Lord would let me go home, wouldn't she? But no one can guess what the Dragon Lord will do. He has a fearsome temper. I think we should go to the police. Let's try back at the camp first. You forgot to fill it up with petrol, didn't you? I'm sorry. It's OK. It's a full jerry can in the back. Uh, no, there isn't. You took it out to get some petrol to light the fire. Princess Aya, I'm glad that you're back. Your brother is in a terrible mood. Do you have me the good juice? I'm afraid not, Zenzo. They're not finished yet. The Dragon Lord has been looking forward to seeing them all day. He speaks of nothing else. I'm glad I'm not you, Scorda. The Dragon Lord will be furious. I will try and calm him. Princess, what about us? Just do as Zenzo tells you. You must be the barbarians who tried to damage the oracle. We didn't. I am not a barbarian. I am a spellbinder. Save your excuses for the Dragon Lord and hope he is merciful. Come! Stand there and be perfectly still. When the Dragon Lord appears, get down on your knees and bow to him. Do not look up until you are told. Do not do anything unless you are told. I'm sorry, Kathy. I never meant for this to happen. Silence! Dragonlord, great and fearsome warrior, lord of the earth and the water and the sky, your humble subjects quake in terror as we await you. Dragonlord is coming. Near, or be struck down. <laughs> 